Hi, Kipsters. Today we're doing 7th grade G1. Read and understand informational passages. You are going to read the text. These are often pretty long. So you're going to read it all the way through. And then you're going to answer a few questions about it. So in this case, it says, what is the text about? After I've read the passage, I'm just going to confirm, what is it about? Then it's going to have me continue to get slightly harder questions. So review the second and third paragraphs. Using these numbers on the side, I can see what they want me to review. Two and three. Based, then I'm going to look at the question. Based on the text, which method of investigation helped them the most? Individual examinations. They found patients of all ages were suffering from a set of symptoms. Rarely observed together. In particular, it was a high rate of arthritis, a painful joint condition. Blood samples revealed no germs that offered a clue about the cause. However, Dr. Stern and Dr. Malawista found fruitful information there was interviews with patients. One quarter of them recalled a skin rash with a bull's eye pattern about four weeks before the arithmetic symptoms arose. So what did they do to help their investigation? Separating patients into age group, conducting patient interviews, or studying blood samples. It was conducting patient interviews. I'm just reading and answering these questions, right? Review the fourth and fifth paragraphs. So I'm going to scroll down, fourth and fifth, and I'm looking on the, at this question. It says, based on the text, which two facts, I know I'm picking two, led investigators to believe ticks were causing the symptoms. So I'm going to find two and click those and click submit. These yellow dots on the side show you how many questions you have for this passage. So I'm on this one right here. Armed with this new clue, the Department of Health worked with Yale doctors conducting surveys to learn where the disease was most widely seen. It seemed that the majority of the patients lived in heavily wooded areas away from the center of town. Other similarities were soon discovered. The symptoms were nearly always experienced for the first time during summer. Most patients were people who spent a good deal of time outdoors, gardening, landscape, gaping, or playing. Crucially, some had been had recalled having been bitten by a tick. Ticks are small parasites that feed mostly on the blood of mammals and birds. Ticks burrow their mouths into their hosts where they may remain for several days, long enough to transmit a serious illness. By 1977, investigators suspected that the deer tick specifically was responsible. People were asked to save any tick that bit them and doctors preserved the ticks they found on patients. The deer tick was indeed the common thread, but no one could say why it was causing the illness or how patients could be treated. So which two facts led investigators to believe ticks were causing the symptoms? Living near the town center, spending a lot of time outside, or remembering getting a tick bite? Well, we know that it's a lot of time outside because that's where ticks are and they remembered getting a tick bite. Now we're on to the seventh and eighth paragraphs. It keeps going like this, answering basic questions about the text. You got this? Take your time, read slowly, read any explanations if you get it wrong. Here, read the explanation, and think through, how did I get the last one right? You got this, get up to a SMART score of 90, and you are good to go. See you tomorrow.